Welcome back to the basement, the lab, the place where all the printing happens. You might even hear a printer in the background because that Mark IIS is going crazy right now. But uh, we got the, the Biltec flex plate. My last video had a little error. The battery died in the middle of the recording of how I applied it. So I'm going to apply another one. We're going to do this one more time. We're going to take the bed, we're going to take the sheet, we're going to make sure they're adhered together, and they're adhered together really well because we don't want this popping up. We don't want air bubbles because air bubbles means it's not flat. So we need some things. You're going to need a build plate. You're going to need build tack. You're going to need an X-Acto knife. You don't need the whole kit. I just have them. You're going to need some isopropyl alcohol. You're going to need some paper towels. I like Bounty, the cheap ones. You know, they work. Um, and you're going to need some, some gloves. I don't like to re-put fingerprints back down on the material, so we're going to glove up. So let's do that. We're going to glove up real quick. Ugh. Of course, you know, you can go with the fashionable black, uh, or if you can find Michael Jackson white, you know, just wear it in the left hand. That's fine, too. You just need something so you're not going to leave your fingerprints back down on the material again. So let's move this out of the way. Let's get a piece of paper towel. And these are, these are the select a size. So I'm going to select two. You can use how many you want. Just don't try to, don't kill a tree while doing this. So I'll fold that up. Crack open our isopropyl alcohol. And let's get our surface nice and clean. Because the cleaner the surface, the better it's going to adhere. Hopefully. At least that's what science tells me. So let's go ahead. Let's clean this surface up real good. Get all these nasty fingerprints I got for moving it around. And thankfully we won't get any more fingerprints because you know what? We're wearing gloves. Oh, that's way better. Look at that. No more greasy, dirty fingerprints. No more things. So this bed plate's again made specifically for the Mark III, so it even has directions right on there. Right here it says, you know, align the 9x10 Biltec sheet right to this edge. Um, and that's because it's going to end right at this back line here. So let's get that right here. We're going to turn it this way. Surface is clean, paper towels and things, get everything out of the way. So most important thing is we're kind of going to treat this like, um, like we do cell phones. So we're going to find the leading edge, we're going to crack open a corner, which is always easy when you have gloves on. But it's not bad. And the real secret is to get a leading edge and fold this over so you have a nice working edge that this isn't going to keep bothering you. It's not going to keep getting in your way while trying to apply it. And let's line this bad boy up. Again, we're going to line up right with the edge. And this is literally the hardest part of this entire process is making sure the edge is lined up and making sure that we're not um, going to be super crooked while applying this. So that looks pretty darn good. So we lay that down. Are we done? No, because we forgot we need one of these. We need a squeegee, and this is going to help you out a lot. You can use whatever you want. <laughs> a business card is going to be a little small, but just make sure that leading edge is down. And here's the trick. So you're going to fold this up, and you're going to grab on to the excess um, plastic backing here. You're going to grab on with a couple fingers and as you slide the material back you're going to squeegee the build tack down. So again I'm just using my thumbs and four fingers here to pull the build tack sheet back as I am squeegeeing forward. So that way there's not going to be any room for air gaps to form. So keep going, keep going, and you can go as quick as you want. I try to take my time because, again, uh, no need to rebuy these things every single time you make an air bubble mistake. So just keep taking your time. It'll work. And, uh, yeah. So, again, if you've ever applied a cell phone screen, this is literally the same technique they want you to do. Sometimes I use wetting agents, and I believe Biltec actually has a wetting agent that you can put down so that way you can kind of move things around and you can move air bubbles out, but totally unnecessary if you take your time and use the proper cell phone edging technique on your Biltec sheet. Let's we'll just keep going. Keep on working. 
They're like, why is he making a video this long? Well, people asked. And I messed up last time, so I'm making just a video for this. This is all at your expense, guys. <laughs> or I guess my expense, because I messed up. So then we get that last little bit there. Boom. And wall. Get some nice pressure, make sure it's heared, and guess what? We did it. There is not a single air bubble in there. Um, our edges are good, it's not hanging off. Uh, we will do, definitely remove this. You don't want this heating on and getting the glue that's under there sticking to the bed plate. But we're also going to fix these corners because, as you can see, it comes with square corners, but the bed, bed actually has a round corner. And the easiest solution I found was not to cut it beforehand, but to grab yourself a number 55, I don't know, I don't know what size that is. Uh, grab yourself an X-Acto, and we're just going to use the edge as a cut guide. And it doesn't take much pressure, this stuff isn't very strong. There we go. And then keep rounding that corner, boom. And coming over here. And don't dig into the metal sheet because, again, it's chrome coated. Boom. And there we go. We can clean that up a little bit more to make it look even better. Boom. And boom. So, yeah, now you have yourself a rounded corner, beautiful build tack build sheet made of spring steel that's going to last you quite a while uh, as long as you keep maintaining it and you apply it correctly so now you have this to throw away this to throw on your printer um, you can see all the, the dirt and stuff we took off so yeah we got it all cleaned up it should be should be good to go i uh, hope that helped you guys out ah! sticking to my skin static electricity you silly guy um, so yeah hopefully that helps you guys out with uh, applying the build tech super simple um, glad that it lines perfectly straight up. Directions are right on the sheet, so you shouldn't be able to make too many mistakes. And this is Boat Chris approved. Doot, doot. All right, see you guys.